So my name is Bob German, and I've been a SharePoint uh, fan since since it was called Site Server. Well, I did start with Site Server. Uh, I kind of skipped SharePoint 2001, but it's kind of one of the cool things about this is it's the last time they've really changed the user experience or the way you develop for the UX was uh, when .NET came out in 2002. And so I've been there all the way through all the different phases and fits and starts of, of different ways of doing it. I've spent a fair amount of time, I guess I got involved in it um, in the first developer kitchen, which was uh, February of 2016. And I've been playing around with it ever since. Um, what I've been trying to do is to develop solutions that will later go into the SharePoint framework. It only recently shipped. So over the last year, I've been building solutions for my clients uh, and kind of coaching my team to build things for my clients that we can later pour it in. So there's some rules of the road there of making it self-contained and following certain guidelines to make sure that it will work when uh, he poured it over. And I've been pretty pleased with the results. Um, I did a talk here at SP TechCon on Future Proof and was able to demo a couple of uh, things that I had built uh, actually up to two years ago um, that ported over 95% uh, reuse into the SharePoint framework. Well, I think it's, uh, I think it's a, a really important and good thing overall. Um, it's, it's a big change. It's a lot for a lot of us to digest. But, you know, if they didn't do it, we'd end up, no offense to the Lotus Notes fans, but we'd end up like Lotus Notes. Um, you know, this is, they, Microsoft has to um, embrace the cloud and device era with SharePoint or SharePoint will die. It will just, it will just fade away. And this is, uh, this is a credible way to do it. The other thing is that over the years, they just kept adding new layers on top of what they had. And that just made it heavier and heavier and more and more arcane and archaic to actually build anything. And while this may seem unfamiliar to a lot of SharePoint developers, um, it's actually good to see it be a clean start and not have to carry all that baggage of weird things like, you know, scripting on demand and, um, you know, uh, XSLT and even JS Link and stuff is, is looking a little bit long in the tooth at this point. I love what I see up on their roadmap. Um, it'll be interesting to see when it all comes out. Um, it's, it's also great that they're being so open about it, right? So there's a website where you can go and see, kind of looks like a mini version of their backlog. And I think they're doing all the right things. Um, you know, there's some, there's some sort of pain points, like the modern libraries and lists. I had a customer who got really badly affected by having their custom actions break. So I'm hoping that they fix that. Um, also hoping for uh, single page applications where we can just really party down, uh, do whatever um, you know the, the customer needs, or really make a, a unique page experience uh, on top of SharePoint. I guess my favorite part, I, I'm going to go with TypeScript. I like that that it's TypeScript first, and that the entire framework is in TypeScript, and it's just I've become. I, this really was my introduction to TypeScript. I had looked at it a little bit, but I hadn't started using it every day, and now I feel completely like I'm missing it if I don't have it. If I, you know, I go back to JavaScript, and I can do it. In fact, I probably do it more often than not. It's funny. I actually give my clients if they have if the client has a I'm in consulting. If that wasn't obvious, um, if if my client has a developer team. I ask them, you know, I try to talk them into TypeScript, but I give them the opt out because they may not want to have to learn it. But without it, I just feel like I'm not delivering the same level of robustness and it's just not as much fun. Um, right now, I'm going to go back to those two things that are already on their backlog. I really want something that will replace, um, you know, custom actions, uh, display templates, that kind of thing, and also um, something that would allow me to do a single page app. One thing I would change, I think, it's not a big change, I would just like to see a lot better documentation, like trying to figure out how to how to do things is often uh, an exercise in reverse engineering. And I know that, um, you know, different versions, if, if you've been at this, and I know you have as long as I have, um, you know, some versions kind of come out and technical writing is right there and you've got everything laid out. And others, 
uh, well, you're kind of left on your own. And I'm feeling kind of like we're left on our own, which is unfortunate given how um, how big the change is. And we're like looking at blogs. Thank you so much for blog for all your blog articles, Andrew. But just you know, it's like why isn't there more up on Microsoft? I think the biggest challenge is the learning curve, is the shift. I mean, I think it's a healthy challenge, although it's a little bit ironic that. Um, you know, one of the reasons that they that I was told that they shifted to the to the stack more of an open source stack was so they could attract more developers. But what I'm starting to suspect is that you still you have to still know kind of what SharePoint is and how it works. Uh, you still have to know the object model underneath uh, the, for making your REST calls or what have you, and you got to learn TypeScript and you got to know. You kind of end up wanting to know React. I'm starting to feel like, you know, that the, the product is written in React. All the first party web parts are written in React. Um, the UI fabric support is better in React. So I'm just starting to feel like uh, I don't want to swim upstream. I'm just going to do React. But all those things, I think, narrow it back down. So you, they widened it out. And now it's narrowed back down again to these people who have this. And this is just maybe not Microsoft, right? It's just the way the web development world is. It's like you can choose. Uh, it's like a Chinese menu, every single item, you can choose a different choice. And so to find somebody with the, with the uh, or to tool up on all the choices that they've made, I think is a challenge. So enterprise developers are, this is really unfamiliar to most of the people I talk to and who I work with. I, I think in the future, this is gonna, um, this is gonna be the, this is the future. I think that it's going to, Microsoft is gonna replace every single page or augment with a choice, at least for a while, every single page in SharePoint so that eventually um, you don't need to see any classic pages at all. And, um, you know, there's, there'll be some, some bumps along the road. There'll be some places like with the modern document libraries when they came out and the, some things broke. And I think Microsoft learned from that, that they had to maybe give it a little bit more of a soft rollout. Uh, but they do kind of push things out a little bit aggressively to try to, I understand they want to drive adoption. Um, but then, you know, if it, it's hard for people to test the things that they've built internally. So my theory is it's going to, it's going to happen. We're going to move completely over to the new model. Um, they will support uh, the classic mode for probably five years or more um, until people literally stop using those pages. Um, and they have the telemetry to, to, to figure that out. Um, whatever bumps there are on the road are going to be less than the alternative. Cause the alternative is that SharePoint fades away and it would probably get be like, end up like Lotus Notes, and it would probably be uh, take half a dozen products to take over all those workloads, and it would be very fragmented. And so, you know, whatever pain anybody who's watching this might be feeling around the learning curve and the transition, and realizing that your sites are going to change, uh, or you know. Hopefully you'll have some control over it, but they're going to change out from under you. Think about the alternative pain of the whole thing just kind of fading away and having to figure out what to do. Um, you know, it's, I think Microsoft's made the right choice here.